What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany de Villiers and today's video is going to be a week with me vlog. Like, you guys have been requesting more content from me so I just thought that's what I would do. <laughs> so I'm just going to film literally whatever. We have such an exciting week ahead. I'm going to be staying at home tomorrow, staying at home Wednesday, staying at home Thursday. Um, no, but we are celebrating our first anniversary together. We started talking July 2019 and then we started dating like July, August, September. We, I think we had our first date in like September 2019 and then like we went on loads and loads of dates and then he made me his girlfriend in February 2020. So our anniversary was actually last month, but the reason why I didn't want to celebrate it last month was because we had Valentine's Day, my birthday, and we would have had our anniversary, and I just think that it's just too much, like, too much effort, too much money, too much everything in one month, you know, space it out a little bit, so March is here, we're going to celebrate our anniversary, we were meant to celebrate it on Monday, but because of a game that he had, we have to celebrate it today, no, not today, today's Tuesday, tomorrow, we're celebrating it tomorrow, got a chef coming, going to cook us up some nice food, you know the vibe. Actually, I'm going to show you guys what we've got going on for uh, Morgan's anniversary present. So let me show you. Today, I have been the most handiest handyman in the world. I bought this book for our one year anniversary and I was going to make a scrapbook out of it. But look how tiny the book is. Look how tiny it is. And these are the pictures that I want to put in the book. Like, it's just not going to work out very well, is it? Like... <sighs> And then I've got in here, I literally spent a hundred pounds on decorations for the scrapbook. So right now, these are all from the range, by the way. I'm just going to go back to the range and I'm going to see if I can find a scrapbook big enough to fit these pictures and like decorations around them because right now they don't. And look how many pictures I have. That's how many there are there. And there's all of these ones on the floor still. So, um... I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but, you know, we'll see. Um, I just thought it was a really cute idea because considering the fact that Morgan literally has everything in the world and, like, I bought him something really pricey for his birthday and for Valentine's Day, our anniversary is just something thoughtful. So I'm going to make this scrapbook and then I've ordered us, like, matching key rings with the date of our anniversary on it and, like, a picture of us engraved on the back. So... I know that's really like moist and it's like a girly thing but you know thoughtful things really matter to me so I really hope he appreciates it as much as I would. Actually let me show you the rail that I put up this morning. I'm so proud of it. So got his t-shirts here and just some like shirts there and then his pants and just a couple of my um tracksuits over there because I didn't have space in my wardrobe. Can I just add that I have literally spent the entire morning cleaning this house from top to bottom taking my birthday balloons down having to wash the walls because the balloons left mark on the walls set up a whole freaking rail all by myself to put morgan's clothes on because he literally just has too much stuff that it doesn't fit in his wardrobe at all so it was like just piling up on the floor and the worst part is that he has loads of drawers loads of closet space he has a whole wardrobe at his mom's house filled with clothes and he still needs more space i thought i had a lot of stuff but morgan wow Shoes and clothes, he's the worst. <sighs> Anyways, I can't breathe. So I'm just going to go to the range now and find a book so I can do that. Because I literally have like six hours to do it before he comes home from the game against Manchester City, I think. Or Manchester United, not 100% sure who they're playing. But, you know, I don't need to know that right now. I'll find out later. Got to deal with the few stresses of my life first. So catch up with you guys later. So this is today's outfit. Got a Balenciaga t-shirt. Uh, essentials jacket, Jacquemise bag, Topshop jeans, and Balenciaga tracks on the feet. Yeah, let's get it. Into the range, got a much bigger book. So this is a lot bigger. It's going to fit a lot of pictures. I'm so glad I found this. And it's got like little love hearts on it, which is really cute for the occasion. And then when you go to the range, you can't just go for what you wanted. Of course, you're going to have to pick up loads of things on the way. Duh. <laughs> um, so like I literally just got like... Toilet paper, loads of cleaning products. Because when I was cleaning today, I realized that I ran out of loads of stuff. So, um, I just got that. I feel like cleaning stuff is cheaper from the range. So, I just got it there. But I'll go to Sainsbury's later today when I finish the scrapbook. Just to go get some food and stuff. Because we literally don't have any food. Um, <laughs> let me show you the fridge. It's so embarrassing. This is the fridge. It's the most pathetic fridge you've ever seen in your life. 
So I'm going to do some food shopping later today or maybe even tomorrow. I'll see how the scrapbook thingy goes. But I got some food. Got some takeaway. You know. Got some chicken wings and peri fries. My absolute favorite food in the whole world. But I'm going to put a movie on, watch the movie. And then watch the game after. But I'm going to do my scrapbook like in between all of this. But I'll keep you guys updated on it. I'll let you know how it's going. Oh, guys, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm just going through the pictures. And it's making me cry. I think I'm coming on my period because... <sighs> how am I this emotional? <laughs> you guys... I just fucking fainted. Oh, every time I look at it, it's gonna make me faint again. <laughs> I just fucking stabbed myself. Look, I'm still shaking. <sighs> I actually can't believe what just fucking happened. I can't believe what happened, guys. <laughs> I need stitches. <laughs> look at it. <sighs> nah, that is the worst thing I've ever seen. And I can't even get up because every time I stand up, it just keeps pouring with blood. So. Gonna have to go A and E in a dressing gown. Love that for me. It doesn't hurt. Like it literally doesn't hurt. I just. I can see my muscle. I can see my muscle. I am the most squeamish person. I just fainted, right? But I didn't faint from the pain. I fainted from the fact that there's blood. Like. One day she disappeared. Oh god. I was just thinking about when they put the dental on it, it's gonna sting. That's not what I need. How the hell? I was just making the scrapbook. Look at all this. I was making the scrapbook. And then I stabbed myself with scissors. Like I am the only person in the world that is able to stab themselves with scissors when making a scrapbook. Like, come on, Brittany. That that is so messed up. What the fuck is wrong with me? Put it down for a second. And look at that, the blood's coming out. I'm here crying about a little gash on my leg and watching this movie. This guy's got slashed across his chest and he's still beating this guy up. Like, and I'm here crying about a little cut on my leg. Huh? How does scissors get into your hands? I was making a scrapbook. Are you not stabbed yourself by mistake? What kind of mistake? <laughs> you are really silly, you know? Why would you do that? I know, yeah, I didn't. Don't like you stab yourself or your boyfriend stab you. No! You don't want to stab police or what? <laughs> Did they ask you if someone stab you and you come here to lie? No! What do you mean by no? You can just stab yourself. Yes, I, I, I promise I stab oh, myself. I need to report you to police. No, I promise. My boyfriend is not home. Oh, oh, is that what you want to tell me? Yeah! Tell <laughs> the truth. Huh? Did he stab you? No, he's not at home, I promise. How did you just <laughs> It's not a small Mac. No. What are you doing in your hand I was making something. So you put your leg like this. <laughs> and chew. <laughs> not like I don't understand what you're telling me now. You're telling me two different things. Okay guys, so I have had to come to the hospital in my dressing gown. My slippers. Love that for me. All by myself. Um I've just been treated and I just had um, some glue and like this tape put to hold it together. Didn't need stitches, thank fuck for that because if I did I would actually cry and I'd probably faint again. But um, yeah, that's the vibe. I'm going to go back now and finish my um, scrapbook before Morgan gets home. The game is currently 1-0, don't know about that but you know, it's okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Fainted for nothing. <laughs> Okay. Love from what, babe? No, I love didn't. Love from what? <laughs> Lucy. With love from Lucy. He didn't give me an option to change it. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to dry, babe. It's just going to wipe off. Will it? Why are you putting my name? <laughs> oh, hold on, man. I'm smoking crack, Kyle. You guys, this is the aftermath of my bookmaking. I thought that counts in that way. Yeah. Yeah, but what? It's cute though. The photos are cute, but the writing inside is cute. Good morning, guys. So, good day. Um, not feeling any pain, thankfully. I've had the sweetest bouquet of flowers come this morning. I thought they were from Morgan. I see. Open the little letter. It wasn't from Morgan. This cute little bouquet is from my 
um, agency, not my modeling agency, my social media agency. They're called the Blogger Agent, and I signed to them a couple weeks ago now. So, so sweet. So I've just had a like parcel come, and it's a like a uh, shoe rack for when you like walk into the house. So I'm gonna go build that now before Morgan gets home because I'm the handyman in this house and not him. And after that, then I'll show you the scrapbook that I made for him. I won't show you everything, obviously, because it's a bit personal. But um, yeah, it's really. It's really cute. I think it's amazing. I actually gave it to him last night when he got home from his game. And he may or may not have teared up a little bit when he opened it. So, yeah, I did that. This is what we're currently working with. So, I'll update you when it's done. I am an actual DIY queen. I don't need a man. I can do it all myself. The fuck? Look at that. Wow. Masterpiece. Okay, guys. All packed up. Ready to go. It's literally 2 p.m. right now and I'm only about to have a bath now because I'm not allowed to shower with this thing on my leg because I'm not allowed to get it wet for seven days. So but this bath is so frustrating. Look at it. Like it's literally like an ant pissing. It's so slow. So look how ghetto I am. I'm literally filling up a bucket in here or like a box, filling this up with water and pouring it into the bath to make it go quicker because like I really don't give a fuck. I just in this bathroom, we have a shower and a bath. That's really good. Like, this is the spare bathroom. But in our ensuite, we only have a bath. I know we have a shower in our ensuite. Right, the chef's here, and I've just, like, gotten ready a little bit. Like, put some makeup on. I've just put, like, a comfy outfit on. Okay. So it's just, like, leggings and a jumper. And not a jumper, what is this? Cardigan. This matches, like, I'll show you in the video mirror. But um, yeah, just the, just thought I'd make like a little bit of an effort because you know still at home, comfy but cute. So yeah, that's the vibe. Um, there's like a porn star martini stack, so I can't wait for that. Yeah. Okay guys, I've had six, four more to go, and I finished the whole tree. <laughs> so I know I look absolutely awful. Um, just been cleaning the house. I literally feel like I clean the same things every day, and the next day they just get really messy again. Like <sighs> there's just no escaping it. <laughs> But, um, the dinner last night was so amazing. The food was absolutely incredible. Never tasted anything like it in my life. I think it's better than any high-end restaurant we've ever been to. Better than any restaurant we've ever been to in general. It was top-notch. But the table, we have a glass dining room table and it's so hard to clean it. Morgan's dad gave us like this cloth that you can use to clean windows. And um, it helps a lot more than a normal cloth would, but it's just like, let me show you. It's literally so hard to get it completely clean. Like, look how weird it looks. Like, just like misty, you know? Also, can we just not talk about how I dress at home? Haven't brushed my hair yet, and I literally walk around in the mornings in a baggy t-shirt, like an old baggy t-shirt while I'm cleaning the house because I just don't want to get anything else dirty. Like, look at me. This is really what Morgan comes home to. <laughs> I don't know if I've shown you guys the roses Morgan got me for our anniversary. So we've got this beautiful bouquet here. Um, came in like a little gift bag and then he got me these ones. which These are 50 red roses but I'm not sure if they're mini because they're not as big as these. Or like if they need to like open or what the situation is. Because that one looks kind of big but i do think they're mini roses i'm not 100 percent sure just put those other flowers that i got from my agency on the table over there i'm about to run a bath because again i have to take a bath today because my leg is still not 
ready obviously only day two so but let me show you it's it's bleeding like every day i change the top dressing on it and it's literally bleeding i don't know if it's like i don't know if it's meant to be bleeding but it's bleeding so also my legs are so hairy um don't know how morgan's gonna deal with that but you know he can deal with some hairy legs because i took a stab to make that book for him right so um today why have we done today um had to clean the whole house um, I think I vlogged today. Don't know. If there's a few videos before, then I've obviously vlogged today. But I literally deep cleaned the whole house again because I have nothing else to do. So I feel like cleaning keeps me busy and it keeps my mind, like, off of things. And it, like, gives me something to do. And I don't know. It just, it, it makes me feel better. It's like working out. But I don't like working out. So I just clean. <laughs> and then I had another bath again. I know that people are going to say, like, oh, bathing isn't the most hygienic thing. But I'm not allowed to shower because of my leg. And I just, even if I did shower, I wouldn't know how to keep it dry. But um, I had to wash my hair in the bath. And that was a struggle. I had a little um, jug. And I just, like, washed it with the jug. But, oh, my God, it was so hard. And then, like, when I was done bathing, I ran water into the jug and, like, rinsed myself again. Because I felt like... Just sitting in the bath, like in my dirty water, was not cute. Um, although, you know what, I will say, when I was growing up in South Africa, we never really had a house with a shower. Like, I don't know if it's just like a, a thing there, but every house that we had always only had like one bathroom and it never had a shower in it. It just had a bath. Didn't even have like a shower holder or anything. It was just literally the bath in every single house. And why... Was there only one bathroom when it was like a three bedroom house? I don't understand that. So I'm pretty skilled in the bathing department. I know how to do that, know how to wash my hair in the bath. Um, but yeah, oh my God, I'm going on about bathing for so long. And then anyways, we went to St. Morgan came home from training, took a nap um, because he's been really tired. The other day he had a game, got home at 2 a.m. Then had to be at training again at 9 a.m. And then a few days later had a game again at, at 8 o'clock at night. Got home at 2 a.m. again and then had training, cooked up some food. I'll show you a clip of it. It was so good. I made like a creamy mushroom chicken with pasta and vegetables. Um, I'm really trying to eat healthy recently because my summer body needs to be intact. Not going to plan so far. Not looking very summery right now, but we'll see how it goes. That's about it. Let's guess where Morgan is. Oh, shock. Leave me. Shock. Leave me. Leave me alone. No one there. So light up. Don't want light up. You're such a mom. <laughs> I hate him. Morning guys. Right, let me just tell you how freaking stupid I am. So the other day when the chef was here and the electricity kept switching off, we didn't understand why. So I called the estate agent and I told them I think it's the oven because the chef told me that the top one and the bottom one don't do the same thing. Now, I didn't know this. So, ever since we've lived together, me and Morgan, and even when I lived without Morgan in London, I have always used the top one, thinking it's the oven as well. So, when we're in Swansea, I used to think, why the hell is my food not cooking properly? Like, and that's actually why we bought the slow cooker, not the slow cooker. That's why we bought the air fryer, because I was like, oh my God, the oven's not working properly. The top one is a grill. It is not an oven. You cannot cook food in there properly. So if you're trying to cook chicken in there, don't, because that's not an oven. The bottom one is the oven. So we had to get someone out this morning to come and put a new piece in the oven because it just kept tripping the electricity. Um, so fun facts, guys, in case you didn't know that, I'm here to tell you about it because I didn't know. I know it's probably something so basic, but when I moved out, no one taught me how to do things. And when I lived with my dad, we only had one oven, we didn't have two, we didn't have a grill, we didn't have that luxury, so yeah, I didn't know that. Um, um, I'm actually not doing much today, I'm just about to watch Molly May's new vlog. It's also a week with me, so funny enough, she's doing one, I'm doing one. Hmm, might as well be related. At least I know now, you learn something new every day, right? But yeah. <laughs> so the oven was on because the guy told me I had to leave it on to air it out. So that's what I was doing. It wasn't just on because I was being random, it was on for a reason. Oh, got a call. Hello? Why has this been happening to me recently? 
Now you know what I'm gonna do? Save the number and I'm gonna look at their profile picture on WhatsApp. Actually, you know what? Let's be brave. Let's call them back. Sorry, the person you are trying to reach is not currently able to accept call. Please try again later. Thank you. This past like few weeks, my skin has been so horrendous. I have literally, I've been happy that I've had to stay home because my skin's been so bad. Like, look at all the scars from, look at the scars from the acne I've had the past week. Like, what the fuck? And why is it so bad? Why is it like this? Like, I have been wearing makeup recently because I've been taking a lot of content for Instagram. But other than that, why? It's so unnecessary. And it's like the healthier you eat, the worse your skin gets. Why is that a thing? I don't know. Today I went to Tesco because I'm a bit bored of Sainsbury's. So I thought I'd switch it up a bit and go to Tesco. Oh, ow. I'll show you some of the stuff I've got. So, I've got these. Right, I'm not good at this. Got these super cute little nude slippers, which actually I'm gonna put on right now. They were 10 pounds. Not gonna lie, they're super comfy and spongy. Also, Sainsbury's don't have vases, so I got this vase from Tesco, because I need one for all my new flowers. And then I got two of these. I'm obsessed with candles and like wax melts and stuff, so I got two of these. I had these when I lived in Swansea, so saw them in Tesco again, thought, I'm gonna get them again. And then instead of getting the tiny tea lights, I actually got the big ones, because they burn for so much longer. Eight hour burn time, bargain. The wax melts, I've got the candles at home now, actually, so that's why I got these. I got these two, I got two big ass candles in the scent um, vanilla frosting for 18 pound. For two, and these aren't even the small ones, these are the big ones, like, for £18 for two. Usually for one it's like £18, so bargain as well. Also, I bought this at the range a while ago, because basically Morgan's ordered order Chinese for supper, and I don't want Chinese because I just don't want to take away because it's going to make me fat. So, um, I'm having like a ham and cheese toasty, but in South Africa we call it a snackwich, so I always call it a snackwich in a snackwicher, and I found it at the range a while ago, and I used it once, and then it sat in the cupboard since we moved in. I'm making one right now, can't wait. Yummy, and I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Re recently I've been really into drinking green tea. Um, I can't wait to eat that sandwich. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill. Morgan's on cod right now, so. He said he's gonna come off at 10 and then we're gonna watch Coming to America, the second one. It just came out on Amazon Prime, so I'm so excited. That is literally one of my favorite movies in the world. It is so funny. Today, I've literally not done anything, just... I took a shower, actually, rather than a bath today, and I literally had my leg up like this on the wall, and I was showering, and Morgan walked in like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, I'm not trying to get my leg wet, duh. What does it look like I'm doing? But I've been researching dermatologists because I need to get my skin sorted out. And I found one in London. So I'm gonna have to go there. Cause look, look at that. Oh my God. Mm. Anyways guys, I'm probably gonna end this vlog in the morning. So peace out. I actually forgot about my vlog. So I've just gone to edit it and I've realized I didn't actually have an ending for it. So I'm just gonna film that now. Um, I don't even remember entirely what's in this vlog because it's obviously the following week now and um, the week is over. All I can remember it is consisting of me cleaning and cooking and that's about it because that's all I ever do in this house. Today I've been to Sainsbury's and done like a whole massive food shop. Let me show you the fridge. Oh my god. Wow, we were amazing. So got all the milk, soy milk, cashew milk, almond milk. Very healthy in this household. Got all the fruit and veg. So much vegetables in this fridge. All here, all here. And then I got my little fruit bowl. My fruit bowl's looking lovely. But yeah, I'm really proud of this, you guys. Because obviously... Oh, and also I'm making some of these. I found them in Sainsbury's. I don't know what they are. And I'm making some... Um, oh, oh my God, they're burning. Making some sweet potato fries. 
This is my little air fryer. Love that. Also, the oven's on because I'm just cooking some chicken wings in there. And I'm going to put some potatoes in. So, yeah, just making some dinner. Morgan's on PlayStation. Duh. Where else would he be? If you guys enjoy this, I'll actually do so many more because it's so easy and so much fun. It gives me something to do. Um, also, following up about my skin situation, booked the consultation anyway, regardless of how much it was because I was shopping around and, like, they're all pretty much the same. So, my skin is getting worse and that's why I put makeup on today. I was filming some TikToks and I just thought my skin is so bad. I cannot go out like this. Can't be seen on camera like this. It's just not going to happen. Um, I think that's also why I stopped filming the vlog because I just thought, ew, like what is going on with me? But I think I'm coming on my period as well. But anyways, besides the point, this vlog is going to be so long at this point. I need to end it right now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know down below or DM me to let me know if you guys want more of these weekly vlogs. Um, follow me on Instagram at Brittany Davilias, TikTok at Brittany Davilias, Twitter at Brit Davilias, and Snapchat at Brittany Beebs. But that is all from me today. That is all from me today. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and stay tuned for my next video.